Hazmat Skill 10B Non-Encapsulating Suit. The non-encapsulating suit means the SCBA is worn on the outside of the suit. You will be tested as both the person donning the suit and the person assisting. For our purposes, the person donning the suit will be referred to as the firefighter and the person assisting will be referred to as the assistant. You may cut and tab the duct tape prior to beginning. Folding over a 2-inch tab on the duct tape makes it easier to remove. When taping, the tab is on the outside. Remember to communicate with each other and work together as a team. You will be equipped with the following. A splash suit as used by the AHJ. Boots, gloves, duct tape, helmet, SCBA. Before donning the suit, remove all sharp objects from pockets and belts. Remove your work boots. Step into the splash suit and pull it up towards your waist. Remain seated while you work with your assistant to don and fasten your outer boots. Pull the rain fly down over the boots, allowing your assistant to tape the edge of the suit to your boots if necessary. Put on the face piece of your SCBA. Tighten the straps for a secure and comfortable fit. Check the seal. Adjust straps if necessary and recheck the seal. Don the inner gloves. Do this as late into the process as possible in order to avoid snagging or tearing them. You may need to stand in order to proceed. Pull up the suit. Determine whether gloves will be worn on the outside or inside of the suit. After donning the gloves, place your arms through the sleeves. Pull your hand back into the gauntlet and either fan your fingers or make a fist for the assistant to tape around. This expands the suit, makes the taping easier, and helps ensure the seam is big enough to take your hand in and out of. The outer glove can be either outside or inside the suit. After applying the duct tape, compress the joint all the way around the wrists to ensure seal is complete. After securing both arms, your assistant will pull your hood over and zip up the front of the suit. Make sure your hood doesn't interfere with your line of sight. The assistant will begin taping under your chin and sealing any gaps in the suit. Preparing tape ahead of time can help you create a proper seal around the curved neck area while still protecting the sensitive area of the neck.
The assistant will then tape the hood to the SCBA mask, making sure not to obstruct your vision. Two-inch tabs need to be used when taping the mask, placed on the bottom edge so as to not collect contaminants. Working with four to six inch pieces sealing around facilitates the curve of the mask. When completed, check to be sure vision is not obstructed. Don the SCBA backpack. Tighten the straps with the help of the assistant. Put on your head protection, tightening the straps as needed. Turn on the cylinder and complete SCBA check. After ensuring your partner is also to this stage, snap the regulator onto the face piece in order to put the firefighter on air. Test communications. The entrant is now ready for response. If you are assisting, you are responsible for providing help with the following. Assist donning splash suit. Assist donning boots. Correctly tape suit to boots. Assist donning inner gloves. Assist donning outer gloves. Correctly tape suit to outer gloves. Tape front closure area and neck area. Completely tape hood of PPE to SCBA face piece. Do not cover field of vision on face piece. Assist donning SCBA. Assist responder to go on air.